Question 13. A mass of 30 kg is suspended from the end of a wire, okay, a horizontal force F acts on the mass so that it is in equilibrium. Okay, keyword here, in equilibrium, meaning your net force is zero or your resultant force is zero. With the wire at an angle of 30 degree to the vertical as shown, what is the magnitude of F? Well, my friends, you want to find F, this is also a vector question. Or we draw all the forces. So whenever you do equilibrium, right, whether it's a complicated question where I suspend a bar, lean a ladder on a wall, do a weird fishing rod, just step one, label forces. All the forces that are present, they already label one for you, which is this external force that's pushing the pendulum or the 30 kg ball. But you obviously have weight, right? So I'm just going to write this one as mg. All right. And you will also have tension. Not because of COVID-19, but because there's a rope here. So there's tension, T. And the sum of these three forces, so I'm going to make F purple. Lah. The sum of these three forces, this F, must be zero. Well, there are two methods. I will do both, but as a variety, I'm going to do the geometry, geometry method first. So this is another vector question. As mentioned before, this is a very vector heavy paper. This FM21, paper one, two, very vector, pay, very vector heavy. Don't know why. Important physics skill, I guess. So from here, you can use drawing. So I'm going to draw a vector diagram. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to think about this T. Actually, the easiest one to draw is MG, because uh, MG is pointing downwards. Okay, I draw MG first. Uh. So MG is like this. Okay, after MG, you will have F. F will be like this. I don't really know or care about the relative length because I'm not going to do a scale drawing. I'm just going to draw a normal diagram so that I can figure out if I can use any trigo identities, sine, cosine, tangent. And this will be the direction of T. Label, label. Okay. Miss, where is 30? Ah? Well, 30 is the angle between T and the vertical which also happens to be parallel to mg so this is your 30 okay 30 is the angle between t and the vertical so this is t this is vertical this will be 30 degree no? oh wait we can find f yes because we do know mg mg is 30 times 9.81 i'll write here for you mg is 30g so i can use tangent tangent 30 is opposite over side f over mg so from here f is equal to mg tangent 30 we can substitute beautiful values 30 times 9.81 tangent 30 Okay, okay, I know. Okay, there we go. So we press our friend Casio, the calculator, and this should arrive at 170 Newton. Okay, so first method when you encounter vector is drawing, if you are a drawing person. And I think whenever there's right angle triangle, drawing is faster. But if you're like, I don't like to draw, can I resolve vector? Can, can. I will show you the second method now, which is resolution of vector. Okay, so to resolve vectors, you have to be very aware of what you are looking for. Okay, so if I'm going to resolve vector, right, I will move this F just so that it's easy for my brain to see. This F, I'm going to transfer it and draw here. It's the same thing. Okay, vectors are arrows that we can manipulate in the Chartesian coordinate or the XY coordinate to help us. So if you, you actually do this a lot in maths one, you convert the vector into i, j and k or i and j. So now the mass is treated as a origin. 
tada zero zero okay so now it will be hopefully obvious to you that we need to resolve our t f and mg is 90 degree as mentioned before in earlier questions of the paper 90 degree is good 90 degrees we keep not 90 we resolve so i'm going to resolve my t into some horizontal component and some vertical component okay and i do the whole alternate angle thing and this one is 30 degree i have lost count the number of times i've resolved factor in this paper <laughs> okay so this is 30 degree so up here you will be right beside the angle t cos 30 then right here you will be opposite the angle t sine 30 means i don't know t there it's okay right equation first law this thing has a zero resultant force that's why you get a cyclic triangle or because the net force is zero so this is method two so right here resolution of vector so we will do the x component first x component um this one would be f is equal to t sine 30. now if you're lucky you know tension you can find f but you don't know tension too bad repeat again no y component upward force will be equal to downward force so i'm going to write this one as mg is equal to t cos 30. cancel left and right cancel nah here and here will be equal such that the net force is zero and outward force is equal to downward force so that the net force is zero so I look at these two equation uh, and I think to myself I don't want to find t I don't care about t I want to find f so equation one equation two we will take one divide by two so what I will have is f over mg is equal to t sine 30 over t cos 30 t and t can say bye bye and sine 30 over cos 30 will be tangent 30 a f will be mg tangent 30 there mg tangent 30 look at the first method f is mg tangent 30 here f is mg tangent 30 there so this one would also be 170 okay nah mg tangent 30 here mg tangent 30 here which one is better ah? there's no better whichever you're comfortable with they're the same to me okay so here you can see that uh if you resolve vector the whole idea of up is down left is right because they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction we are cancelling off is in equilibrium there's no net force very familiar to one of the questions that we have solved in the same paper which is the one that has the firework one katy perry song <laughs> okay so if you look at this one you will have the vectors uh equal in magnitude but opposite in direction because your net change should be zero so that's why this one is equal to this one okay just like for the other side i think i've spent some time talking about this already but this is just for people who need it this to cancel off because there's no net force the forces are all equal in magnitude no net force so the initial momentum is zero everything the change is zero just like this one is the same idea the vectors should cancel out because why equilibrium zero net force hiya it's the same drawing there they just rotate a bit only ma it's still an x kind of sort of okay so that's it for equilibrium and as usual because we see a vector there's always a drawing method and there's always a resolution method you may be asking me why i didn't use that resolution or drawing method for that momentum question of the firework because things are already 90 degree when they are 90 degree you don't have to do anything much you just left equal right up equal down or 
opposite direction should cancel off, especially when it's explosion. If it's not explosion, then you will take initial momentum, it's final momentum, and your initial is not zero. Go do more pass years. Okay. All right. So that's it for this question.